Well, former President Thabo Mbeki has described the late South African artist David Koloane as an outstanding artist and a loyal fighter for the liberation of South Africa. Mbeki was speaking at his funeral service at the Universal Church of the Kingdom of God in Johannesburg. Uh, Sia Kebe and myself uh, <clears throat> came today, this morning, uh, to this farewell ceremony, uh, not to speak. But we thought it was important that we should be present, as uh, all of us say a final farewell to an outstanding South African, as David Kolwani. And that merely our mere presence would communicate a message that we too uh, mourn the death of not only an outstanding artist, but certainly from our point of view, a very loyal fighter for the liberation of our people. I think our last speaker made mention of this. You would see in his biography that there's mention of uh, his participation in a festival in Khaburuna in Botswana in 1982, uh, which was called uh, Arts, Culture and Resistance. And if Wallis Rute had been here, he would have spoken about that because they were together with David in that festival to make a very important statement that the artists, the artists were part of that struggle for the liberation of our people. And indeed, I'm sure as all of us have seen uh, uh, in David's paintings, it's always very close to the people, very always trying to say to all of us who would see his paintings that in the end, what all of us need to do is everything to change the conditions of life of these people. And normally, the, uh, this Zulu word, Jumko Doi, it's not a word that is used normally. But when he did that series of paintings which entitled Mgodoi, he was making a statement that there would be people who would want to exploit the condition of our people and behave as Mgodoi behaves. That it would be very, very important that we should be vigilant so that we don't have Imiko Doi taking charge of our lives. So we came uh, really to say a farewell uh, to a very quiet uh, liberation fighter. Um, and I think many people would not have known that, would not have noticed it, would not have felt it. But you would know that, for instance, not long after uh, David had participated in that art festival in Khaburuni, one of the leading participants in that festival died. I'm talking about Tamim Nyele who was killed in a raid carried out by the South African Defense Force, which killed a lot of ANC people and a lot of Botswana. Those were the people who were very close comrades to David Kolwan. And so we say farewell to him, and may he rest in peace, and indeed hopefully, hopefully, uh, as our representative from the Department of Arts and Culture has said, um, the younger artists who follow in his footsteps would draw the necessary and the right lessons from the life of David Kolwani, who never ever, never ever 
saw himself as somebody who needed to claim fame for himself. But somebody who would use his enormous talent to tell a story about our people and to visualize a day, a day in future when indeed our people will be free and happy. May he rest in peace. Former President Tabumbeki there.